Good afternoon, year two. Today I'm going to read Meerkat Mao by Emily Gravitt. Lots of lovely illustrations in this book. Sunny lives in the Kalari Desert. It is very dry and very hot. Sometimes Sunny thinks it is too hot. Sunny comes from a large family. They work together, play together, eat together, learn together and sleep together. In fact, they do everything together. They are very close. Sometimes Sunny thinks they are too close. Sometimes Sunny wishes that he could live somewhere else. So he packs his suitcase and writes his family a note. Dear everyone, I'm off to find somewhere perfect to live. Don't worry, Mum, I'll be staying with our mongoose relatives, so we'll be quite safe. Love from Sunny. P.S. A promise to write. On Monday, Sonny visits his Uncle Bob. Uncle Bob's family make him very welcome, but Sonny just doesn't fit in. To you, Mum and Dad. It's a lot like being at home here, except that I am the biggest. The weather is sunny and the food is fantastic. Lots of scorpions, yum. Best thing is no one has to keep lookout because there's this, this bird which goes squawk when there is danger. I told Uncle Bob our family motto is stay safe, stay together. He told me theirs is run and hide from Sunny. So on Tuesday, Sunny goes to stay with his cousins Scratch and Mitch and the rest of their family. Greetings from Banded Mongoose Country. Dear Mum and Dad, we have been living in an old termite mound, but we are moving. There is plenty to eat. Yours ticklishly, Sunny. Sunny is getting itchy feet. He decides to move on. On Wednesday, he arrives at his cousin Edward's. Hello from the farm. Dear Mum and Dad, Granddad and Grandma. I'm staying on a farm. Ed's favourite food is chicken. I haven't tried it yet, but I've had plenty of eggs. Tell Mickey they're not as good as scorpions. Love from Sunny. Sunny is not all that sure that eggs totally agree with him. On Thursday, he heads off to stay with his cousins Mildred and Frank. I love rainy days. Dear Mum and Dad and everyone, it is raining qu quite hard. Hope the weather is better at home. Lots of love, rainy, I mean sunny. P.S. Great Aunt Maureen was right. I should have packed an umbrella. Sunny hates getting wet, so he decides to leave. By Friday evening, Sunny has reached Madagascar. Dear all, arrived at, at Auntie B's and Uncle Rob's. It is very late and very dark. I think it must be past my bedtime. Aunt B and Uncle, Uncle Rob don't seem to have noticed. I am leaving as soon as it gets light. Yours faithfully, wish you were here, Sunny. Sunny is afraid of the dark. He can't think of anything worse. Until on Saturday, he arrives at Great Aunt Flo's. The original dive-in restaurant, dining for one in the wettest setting in the marsh. Fresh snails, frogs, earthworms, larvae, crustaceans, various small reptiles, insects. Dearest family, Great Aunt Flo lives on her own in a marsh. It is dark and wet. 
The food is disgusting, slimy, and I am lonely, cold, and tired. I really, really, really wish you were here, or that I was not. All my love, kisses and snuggles, soggy Sunny. Sunny's beginning to worry that nowhere is right for him. But then on Sunday, Sunny arrives somewhere very dry and very hot, where everyone is very close. And it is, I am home. And it is perfect. Welcome home, Sunny. So after all that, he, fe he found out that his, the most perfect place for him was at home with his family. Stay safe, stay together. That's what we're all doing at the moment.